Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from Infos. Another video from oil and gas training. Uh, in fact, we are starting a new subject uh, from this video onwards. A refinery process. Uh, many inquiries or many requests came from various our uh, friends uh, regarding to start a refinery process. So, in this module, in this video, uh, we are just discussing the overview of a refinery process. Uh, what are the importance of, uh, what are the definition of a refinery? What is the definition of a crude and uh, simple overview of uh, a refinery process? Welcome to this video. Uh, in the <coughs> figure itself, you can see that one refinery is a, a process operation facility uh, to make or produce value added product from crude oil. So we have already studied uh, various aspects of uh, crude oil production, processing, instrumentation, mechanical, uh, rotating equipment, etc, etc. So crude oil is reaching to the refinery and uh, it is uh, processing to produce various uh, commercial or value added product uh, like petrol, diesel, LPG, etc, etc, etc. Welcome to this video. Uh, before starting refinery operation, uh, I wish like to take your attention to our previous uh, oil and gas overview also. So this is uh, this is good for you to uh, refresh your knowledge. Uh, so so easy to reach the uh, crude oil area, finished crude oil area. So, oil and gas is uh, the crude oil mixture, oil, ga gas, water is coming from the wellhead area. So, separation, separator is the gathering center, uh, the first operation uh, normally conducting to separate produced gas, produced oil, crude oil and water. So, the detail of this video is the first or second video. Uh, my video is already uploaded there and I will add the link in the um, description section so you can watch that one all uh, this information in detail. But here I am giving only some information uh, about the crude oil only, how to get crude oil from the wellhead. So desalter, sometimes most of the cases they are using desalter also. So gas free, water free, salt free crude oil. So gas will remove here and water remove here and oil is reaching to desalter and in the desalter we are removing salt content if uh, any available. So crude oil will be gas free, water free and salt free. Going to storage tank. Storage tank is a buffer storage uh, facility to keep crude oil for uh, at least some time uh, before shipping or before sending to refinery. This is a crude oil shipping pump or export pump we call normally in the facility crude oil to refinery or crude oil shipping to another country refinery or ultimately it is reaching to refinery. So this is the crude oil, uh, crude oil route from the wellhead to refinery. This is the route. Gas processing already uh, I have explained in my oil and gas over overview first section or second section in my second and third videos uh, just to visit uh, please watch that video will get more information on that one. So we have reached crude oil at the entry point of refinery. So in the refinery as I said to you as I told you that one it is uh, a uh, process operation. Uh, based on the boiling point concept, boiling point difference you can say and producing value added product. So quickly uh, giving an overview of that one, the crude oil is there, the furnace is there. Definitely we will study each and uh, uh, each information in detail in our coming slides. So crude oil distillation column and basic uh, science if you studied basic science, uh, distillation will be a process of separating liquid-liquid separation based on the boiling point difference. 
So that is the basic definition of a uh, distillation process. <coughs> so here uh, it is separating based on the uh, boiling point C, less than 90 Fahrenheit C1 to C4. Mainly it is gas, propane, butane and light hydrocarbons uh, considering as LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. And 90 to 220, it's a C5 to C, say C8. We call it a naphtha that is going to uh, another product for chemical, uh, petrochemical industry and uh, various other applications as well. So, like that one here, C8 to C12 at 220 to 315 degree Fahrenheit, then C1 to C12 to C30, then it's varying to temperature is also varying, the, that is the boiling point is varying and carbon content is very from the light carbon content lower carbon content c1 to c4 to c50 it is reaching to carbon content is increasing uh, so it is getting heavier hydrocarbon here you can see here in the bottom of the distillation column you can see uh, c30 to c50 diesel and light oil and uh, Again, it is going to another distillation column, it is called a vacuum distillation column and this all we will study in detail later. And this is the product, uh, primary product we can uh, take from the crude oil uh, distillation column. You can see naphtha is there, another naphtha is there, heavy virgin naphtha, light virgin naphtha, kerosene, diesel, heavy oil, residual fuel oil or asphalt. Uh, so, and here the secondary processing uh, Secondary processing or purification finished or conversion or you can say advanced process, advanced refinery process, various processes are there. In that one uh, it is uh, reforming or breaking the chain, many many applications to make final product uh, according to the requirement and uh, market demand, various uh, uh, refinery products like uh, refinery fuel gas, propane, natural gas liquid, gasoline, jet fuel, petrochemicals, various uh, products uh, making from the refinery. So this is the refinery process. So crude oil is already we understand from the previous slide and here heating up to particular temperature then it is a distillation process conducting and the process of distillation based on the boiling point difference. Let us go back to basic definition of crude oil. As you know that one, crude oil is a means a mixture of hydrocarbon that exists in a liquid phase in natural underground reservoirs and remains liquid at atmospheric pressure after passing through surface separating facility. This is the carbon hydrogen bond structure here. Uh, just for uh, uh, information. Crude oil is a complex mixture of hydrocarbon. The carbon atom in these molecules are joined together in chain and rings. See? Chain and rings. In the ball and stick models below, carbon atom and black uh, are black and hydrogen atoms are white. See? These, these, these black models are black uh, uh, items are carbon and the, the white one is hydrogen above that one. So various uh, hydrocarbon uh, uh, organic in organic chemistry various hydrocarbon structures are there like uh, methane, ethane, propane, butane. Uh, so you just to refresh your science knowledge to get the basic uh, uh, hydrocarbon with carbon uh, the first carbon uh, organic element or uh, hydrocarbon element is methane, how it is forming, it's a structural formula and a molecular formula, etc, etc. Just to have a uh, review and refresh your knowledge on basic science. Crude oil is an important source of uh, fuels already discussed that one. Crude oil is the uh, making important uh, value added product like petrol, diesel, kerosene, heavy oil and uh, LPG. So various, this is the important source. And moreover, crude oil can uh, use as a feedstock to the petrochemical industry. A petrochemical is a substance made from crude oil using chemical reaction. So using some chemical reaction, 
we can use uh, petrochemical products petrochemical using for our daily life uh, like plastic textile and uh, various application petrochemical is the feedstock for example edin is produced from crude oil it is used as feedstock to make polyethylene a polymer so ethylene is the second uh, uh, component in organic chemistry uh, c2h6 2 carbon and uh, 6 hydrogen atom so from that one some various uh, chemical reaction conducting to make ethylene and uh, or uh, polyethylene a polymer so these are the concept of uh, so crude oil has many applications there is also feedstock for the value added product in uh, refinery plus a petrochemical uh, product <coughs> feedstock for the petrochemical product other useful substances made from compounds found in crude oil include solvent lubricant and detergent see other sources of uh, uh, feedstock for uh, solvent lubricant and detergent so crude oil composition and properties that is also important average crude contains approximately 84 percentage carbon 14 percentage hydrogen 1 to 3 percentage sulfur depend upon the uh, area or uh, geographic, uh, geographical difference nitrogen also oxygen also and metals and salt these are the average crude it can vary slightly heavy crude uh, light crude medium crude extra sweet crude sweet crude sore crude etc etc various commercial name calling the uh, uh, crude oil based on their uh, these uh, average crude uh, properties and the composition so you can see some of the properties uh, not all important to us but at least understand is uh, uh, this ABCD is the uh, location based and uh, properties basically heavy light and crude uh, sorry medium type uh, that that code is using for ABC density API American Petroleum Institute uh, density API density or API gravity is using for to represent the crude oil to uh, commercially uh, represent light uh, medium or heavy so that value is giving here I will explain that one it's a classification of oil API gravity light means uh, greater than 31 or equal to 31 so more than 30 is called light crude oil in API gravity not actual density this is opposite of other normal density so density is the water is 1 and below 1 is light uh, crude oil coming so 0 0.9 is heavy crude oil and 0 0.6 0 0.5 is light crude oil but here it is uh, look at that one here uh, greater than or equal to 31 considering as light to crude oil intermediate is uh, 31 to 22 uh, then heavy is the uh, less than or uh, more than 10 and less than 22 so it is uh, uh, when the api gravity value is uh, going down uh, from 30 or 40 it is considering as heavy so api value is increasing uh, considering as light crude oil and the viscosity also here as part of water content is also important for uh, products crude oil product specification water content salt content api gravity and uh, water and salt content should be lower level api gravity should be higher level uh, then uh, bsnw that is a single word using for uh, water and salt so these are the commercial terms using to represent the quality of a uh, properties or uh, quality of a uh, purity of a crude oil here uh, a graphical representation the same um, light and uh, heavy crude oil so you can see here uh, api is the x axis api gravity and specific gravity on the x axis so you can see here lng liquefied natural gas is a purely gas that is the lightest one you can see here and here also specific gravity of 0 0.6 and here the value is very high LNG and CNG it's purely gas C1 to C4 C1 to C4 we have already studied what is C1 what is C2 in our gas processing module and 
ഓയിൽ ആൻഡ് ഗ്യാസ് ബേസിക് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ദിസ് ഹൈഡ്രോ കാർബൺ കെമിസ്ട്രി സോ എൽ എൻ ജി സി എൻ ജി ഇസ് ദ ലേറ്റസ്റ്റ് വൺ ദെൻ കണ്ടൻസേറ്റ് ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് ഓൾസോ ലേറ്റസ്റ്റ് വൺ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ലൈറ്റ് ഓയിൽ കമ്മിങ് ദ റിയൽ ക്രൂഡ് ഓയിൽ കമ്മിങ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഏരിയ കണ്ടൻസീസ് ഓൾസോ സി ഫൈവ് യു ക്യാൻ സേ സി ഫൈവ് പ്ലസ് ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് സി ഫൈവ് സി സിക്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ കണ്ടൻസേറ്റ് ഏരിയ ലൈറ്റ് ഓയിൽ ഈസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടിങ് ഫ്രം സി ഫൈവ് ഓർ സി സിക്സ് അബൌ then medium oil heavy oil and extra heavy oil like that one see this is the way so viscosity so specific gravity is increasing and uh, ap gravity also increasing increasing to larger digit and from here smaller day to larger digit so this is the and one is the water one one is here uh, water coming and above one also some heavy oils are there so here you can see and we re commercially we represent the ap gravity is the Uh, commercial time to represent the uh, classification of crude oil so refinery product composition so from refinery what we are making that also it is important to know in overview area in refinery gas we are making uh, length of the carbon chain is 1 is to 4 so ch4 c2h6 that is called c1 c2 c3 and c4 the carbon commercially calling c1 c2 easily representing so methane ethane propane butane all are coming under the group of gas it's at normal uh, pressure and temperature this one is called commercially called propane and butane is called uh, lpg that is using uh, cooking gas in our uh, kitchen so two properties are representing here and uh, low here easily flows or uh, Uh, viscosity is uh, very low and flammability is very high so this two are the uh, carbon when the carbon is a lower uh, molecule uh, that is carbon is one here and viscosity will be low and flammability will be high when the carbon is increasing so this viscosity also will increase and flammability decreases and volatility also decreases we can say so gasoline another product uh, coming from c8 starting from c8 then naphtha c10 kerosene is c12 then diesel is uh, c16 and fuel oil is c20 you can see length of carbon atom increasing and boiling point also increasing boiling point is increasing the product wise and uh, viscosity is uh, increases flammability or uh, volatility uh, is uh, decreasing so it is uh, these three this are the basic uh, uh um, properties composition and application to remember for overview before starting the detail of the refinery process and uh, carbon chain is increasing boiling point is increasing carbon uh, molecule uh, number of atoms number of carbon atoms is increasing see here 20 and here 1 and the uses is there see home heating cooking lpg car fuel plastic jet aircraft fuel and uh, fuel for buses and lorry industrial heating system fuel oil and uh, surface surfacing and road tarring and other application so these are the uh, crude oil property we have discussed in our very uh, uh, earlier slide and here we discussed the uh, pro product properties and other uh, composition and the uses so then now we are coming to refinery process <coughs> a petroleum refinery is a manufacturing operation where crude petroleum the raw material is converted into usable finished product here you can see here various uh, this is a distillation gola and you can see the various product here in other words it is the manufacturing phase of oil industry the function of the refinery is to convert the crude oil into the into into the finished product required by the market and the most efficient and hence most profitable manner so refinery process or refinery is the process where making value added product you can see gas here liquid fuel any aviation turbine fuel is there and cooking gas is there or uh, sorry uh, diesel fuel is there various lubricants are there heavy oil for ships are there and uh, bitumen and tar for uh, uh, road tarring and other process so you can see here and here you can see carbon uh, atoms configuration plus uh, boiling point difference 
<coughs> the method employed necessarily vary widely from one refinery to another depending on crude process the nature of and the location of the market type of equipment available and many other reactions various refinery in various country make maybe they can uh, make more product in in this configuration some refinery wants to make fuel oil or uh, gasoline means uh, petrol more some uh, refinery will make diesel more so and some refinery will make aviation turbine fuel more uh, according to their uh, local requirement and demand in the local market and uh, country's requirement uh, refinery production can vary according to the demand crude oil or petroleum consists various hydrocarbon the crude oil refining process break the crude oil down into various components to make a useful new product this already discussed you can see here the petro this petroleum refining is a very complex process and require highly expensive industrial facility so it is a complex process let us uh, uh, divide into some category and understand how the refinery process basic refinery process how it is working for simplification it may be considered that all refining process fall into one of four basic category so let us see one basic refinery basic category of a refinery process number one fractionation or distillation or we call fractional distillation this is already discussed a little bit in earlier stage crude oil coming based on the boiling point later component is uh, boiling point difference in single word definition of a distillation is boiling point difference liquid liquid separation so later later item later uh, hydrocarbons are moving up based on the temperature see 85 85 or 95 or 95 350 350 like that one it is going up to 1005 1050 fahrenheit according to that you are getting various product so this is the fractionation or distillation or fractional distillation in this process physically separating a mixture of components according to their boiling points to suitable value added product in this process physically separating a mixture of compounds mixture of compound that is very important according to their boiling point to suitable value added product example lpg gasoline diesel etc etc however since it is not generally possible to separate the complex petroleum mixtures into individual compound such mixes are segregated into fractions or cut that is why called a fractional distillation fraction this is one fraction this is another fraction this is another fraction like fractions or cuts each of which is characterized by a carefully controlled boiling range this is the boiling range so carefully controlled boiling range that's why refinery process is considered as complex process <coughs> these cuts are rather uh, these cuts are then further processed to or utilized in refinery operation definitely it will use this cuts use for uh, various other advanced uh, conversion process or uh, reforming process to the produce a proper value added product at international standard and specification second process is uh, uh chemical conversion or chemical transformation this process consists of converting or chemically transforming certain of these cuts into product of higher commercial value you can look at that one whatever the product we are getting here and some of the process are here we will study in this detail now only understand various advanced products uh, conversion process are also there to before getting some of the product not all see the lpg is coming directly here but the rest of the petrol jet fuel diesel fuel going to hydro treating and reforming process some advanced process we will study that one in uh, coming uh, videos in this one detail this advanced process and the cracking unit uh, also another advanced product see heavy heavy later later hydrocarbon going to hydro treating and reforming process and uh, same time heavier is going to cracking unit alkylation unit uh, to make another uh, various uh, product product can vary according to the local demand as i earlier discussed 
um then uh, another cut to the high heavier cut is taking for lube lubrication processing etc etc so various just to understand now is various uh, advanced processes there before getting the final product uh, so that we will uh, discuss there are many ways of uh, doing this uh, but all consists fundamentally of altering the molecule structure of the compound this is important so chemical conversion is the fundamentally it is altering the molecular structure of the component so larger hydrocarbon breaking to smaller hydrocarbon molecular structure a smaller hydrocarbon can rejoin reforming or rejoining to uh, uh, larger hydrocarbon or uh, according to the requ required hydrocarbon molecular structure in the case of heavy oil example the molecule may be cracked into from la form later heavy oil is c15 c50 or above you can you know that one c80 it is c here carbon is 80 so uh, reducing the product for uh, valuable for valuable product is c4 c8 c8 c16 for uh, instant in catalytic cracking and cooking uh, cooking uh, so that that is the one uh, simple example of definition heavy oil a uh, heavier hydrocarbon components cracking into later hydrocarbon components to develop a value added product on the other hand gaseous product is, that is a later one c4 uh, c1 to c4 product may be polymerized or otherwise combined to form liquid product it will change it to c1 to make c5 uh, later uh, later uh, hydrocarbon uh, very uh, molecules to join uh, reforming and uh, rejoining to make uh, C8, C10 to liquid product which may be blended into gasoline. So this is also possible. So a basic understanding is heavier hydrocarbon can convert into later uh, smaller hydrocarbon uh, or later hydrocarbon uh, components or, or opposite way later to heavier. Uh, with a certain process of, uh, example like a catalytic reforming, both the cracking and polymerization take place concurrently with this, the with the more desirable dehydrogenation hydrogenation and isomerization process you can see here uh, the basic distillation column is here and this is the advanced uh, or chemical conversion process to make various uh, value added product the net result of all this transformation is the production of mixtures containing new arrays of hydrocarbons of higher value than the starting material so that is the reason to add this various advanced conversion process third important basic uh, category is the treating or removal of impurities nearly all the fractions produced by the processes mentioned above contain certain objectionable constituents or impurities impurities means uh, maybe that is water content maybe that is uh, heavy metals maybe sulfur uh, many other uh, mercury uh, cadmium so many other unwanted or uh, uh, poisonous uh, material or uh, impurities you can say it is uh, commercially not acceptable and it may hurt or damage our uh, automobiles and other uh, various equipments so we have to remove these impurities from um, uh, value added product before uh, marketing or uh, before sending to public use this group of processes uh, processes include the removal of the unwanted component or their conversion to innocuous less desirable uh, compound so uh, to meet the world standard or specification of a value added product we have to remove these items removal of the impurities in some time accomplished by physical treating as exemplified by the process of manufacturing kerosene where the sulfur and certain undesirable hydrocarbons are removed by extraction of with the liquid sulfur dioxide so various processes there we will go the details in our uh, uh, later sessions uh, alternatively the removal may be carried out by converting the unwanted compounds to form more readily removed and is done in the hydro desulfurization of diesel fuel so all this sulfur lead heavy metals uh, maybe water 
etcetera etcetera all impurities will remove from the product in various stages this process is the third category of refinery process furthermore presence of certain hydrocarbons or certain type of hydrocarbon may lower the quality of specific product even hydrocarbons also have some issues or considering as impurities some specific condition that also we will remove it was mentioned that aromatics are removed aromatics is a special type of uh, hydrocarbon ring chain it is calling if you remember the basic chemistry benzene and toluene are the example of aromatics are removed from kerosene by so of uh, some uh, operation extraction the aromatics have undesirable burning characteristics and hence the product quality is improved by these impurities are removed lube oil treating process such as de-waxing de-asphalting and phenol treating are also fall into this category so these also coming to uh, treating and uh, impurities removal the last and the final product uh, final category is a blending blending with various uh, hydrocarbon uh, products refinery product to meet the uh, market standard international specification product specification like uh, you remember that one bs1 bs2 bs3 bs5 standards are there so lead lead free uh, uh, gasoline like various standards are there the fourth basic category is blending of the finished cuts into commercially saleable products such as motor gasoline kerosene lubricating oil and bunker fuel oil according to their specification you can see here various uh, feed stock petroleum refinery products coming here and blending here here the blending here making a diesel so for the diesel these are the various uh, blending this is a primary view only uh, for the representation uh, demonstration purpose so you are getting a diesel so diesel oil blending is taking from here and the analysis are there for the product specification analyzer is there and static mixer is also there so this is the simple representation of a blending process blending is the last step in the refinery process that mixes the optimal combination of the component among various petroleum stream to produce the final finished product usually four product blending pools are in are typical in in, in a refinery four product blending pool they are lpg pool blending of saturated c3 and c4 lpg pool so that is mainly for lpg uh, product gasoline pool most important than complex blending pool to produce premium and regular gasoline gasoline means petrol products by blending appropriate uh, amounts n butane reformate late naphtha alkylate and late cracked naphtha see how the gasoline blending that's a primary information only gas oil and diesel oil pool to blend kerosene slurry lgo and lvgo this all we will study in detail later and fuel oil and bunker oil pool of to blend lv oil lvgo slurry and cracked residue so these are the four basic minimum uh, blending pools in a basic refinery you can say maybe it may vary according to the advanced process so these four processes they are primary process chemical conversion process and uh, impurity removal process uh, and blending process these are the four basic process in a refinery conclusion coming a refinery is a sophisticated multi component you can see very complicated here uh, various heat exchangers are there furnace is there suppression vessels are there and uh, reboilers are there uh, distillation column is there static and the rotating equipment uh, many many uh, number of equipments are there here uh, all processes involved in, in refinery so multi component process operator in overall balance the balance is set by economic consideration with major variables being crude oil process cost and final product so this is important based on the crude oil nature crude oil property light medium heavy and process cost and final product refinery will be a sophisticated multi component process it is thus easier to see why 
no two refineries are exactly alike no no need no necessary two refineries are equal and same various conversion and purification process are required it can vary refinery to refinery crude selection is very very important so that is thanks for watching this video we will continue the effort to develop and prepare more videos on refinery process uh, the basic distillation process uh, will be the next process uh, the chemistry and uh, distillation process principles and operation principles and the process variable selection of uh, distillation process etc etc that will be our uh, next video thanks for watching this video have a good day